We now have Typhoon Surige, also known as Basing in the Philippines. This image is out of Palau, where the storm has been moving over over the course of the last 24 hours, bringing winds gusting up and over 100 kilometers per hour. You see some of the large wave action there. Well, those high winds have also been downing trees as well, creating widespread power outages on the island. So if you have any friends or if you know anybody or if you're watching from uh, Palau, please share some of your reports or maybe some videos as well. If you can, I'll try to get them in my next update. But this is actually from the National Weather Service in Guam, their Facebook page. And this is their affiliate out there in Palau trying to launch a balloon, a weather balloon in the middle of this tropical system. And uh, oh boy, that looks that looks like a rough time, but they did get it up there. And the key thing about these weather balloons, it measures the atmosphere from bottom up. It's kind of like our own little hurricane hunter, if you will, out here. This information gets it ingested into the model data and helps make our forecast that much better. So big thanks to the guys out there, the National Weather Service, uh, really getting some extra data put into uh, the forecast with this storm. But Palau, winds gusted up to 104 kilometers per hour. Yap as well, just towards the east. Uh, not as big of an impact, but they got about 51 kilometer per hour winds. There's a look at that overall uh, imagery here on visible satellite. And you just see that convection bubbling up in the middle of this storm. But the key thing I want you to take away is that Cirrus Shield because this is covering up some. Now, the Sears Shield is there. It's indicating good outflow loft, which tells us the storm has got favorable conditions for development. But let's peer through those upper level clouds at the low level clouds. And look at this right here. Watch that spin right there. That's an eye wall just <clears throat> on the northern periphery of the island of Palau there. They are absolutely getting raked by this storm system. Would not be surprised if unofficially they've gotten gust upwards of 120 kilometers per hour. But the key thing is that eye is there. It is developing and thus the Joint Typhoon Warning Center does say this is a typhoon. A category one, 120 kilometer per hour winds with gusts upwards of 150 kilometers per hour at this time in that center of circulation. Pressure now at 970 hectopascals based on uh, this current intensity. Moving off towards the west northwest. Now here's the deal. Most guidance is coming together and as well as the official tracks, JMA, Pagasa, JTWC, uh, a few other agencies out here all do say we're going to have a recurve. They all do agree on that, but the thing is the storm will be growing in intensity and thus the outer bands will be impacting eastern Samar, Catan Duanas, southeastern Luzon. You're all going to get just kind of raked by the outer edge of the storm system. And even if it wavers a little bit further towards the west, definitely could change up the forecast quite significantly here. Take a look at the winds maxing out as it does pull just towards the east of Luzon, 120 Gusting up to 145 knots. Put that in perspective, Super Typhoon strikes, it's 130 knots sustained. So not quite Super Typhoon, but uh, I wouldn't want to be out here in a boat. My goodness, that would be absolutely rough. But track from Pagasa, as I mentioned, very, very similar, but it still keeps the eastern seaboard just on the edge of this. Good news, Manila, a lot of these heavier populated areas on the west coast, you're going to be missing out on it. But oh, whew, southeastern Luzon, eastern Samar, really in the line of fire here. ECMWF, I think, does have a decent handle on this. Watch how it just kind of gets right there, right near Captain Duanas. You're looking at typhoon strength conditions possible, and then it gets pulled off by finally by the upper level trough and hooks north. But here's the deal. Let's say that trough's a little bit slow or our storm is a little bit slow and eventually the uh, it wavers just a little bit west. That changes our forecast significantly because that brings that inner core on shore. Right now, it's just skirting the coast, but boy, if that inner core comes on shore, we're gonna go from tr likely tropical storm strength conditions to likely typhoon conditions really quick. And that's the reason why I do say over and over and over again, if you're anywhere in this red box right here, prepare for typhoon conditions. Have a plan in place. Be sure you're not in a flood prone area boy it, it could get rough really quick here this is the ecmwf ensemble kind of showing the high likelihood of where this is going to kind of skirt here along the eastern seaboard before turning towards the north it's one of those storms this is a hard one because it's so close that you can't say it's going to miss you completely because you are going to get impacts but the core of the storm in the center line is going to miss likely so there's a few things going on here. Anyways, 
Thanks for everybody who's been helping me out on Patreon. Harley, man, he contacted me today on YouTube. But, uh, I'm going to give you another shout out. Thank you very much for helping out with that Super Typhoon. That's $10 a month. Tammy just joined in. You got Ron, Adam, Jim. Thank you very much for everybody who's been helping me out. And I, I keep on saying this because I'm very close to getting, and I say it all the time, but I, I, I truly am. I would say less than a month, maybe two, I'll be able to get these graphic packages together. And it's just going to make these updates that much better so that's something i really am looking forward to and i i really want it i think uh i've been doing these youtube updates for 12 years now and i've always done them i've done them actually all sorts of ways but this one i'm getting it more and more professional if you've been following me for any period of time you probably have noticed that as well so i think i'm getting to that point these are tv level graphics we got a big audience here, and if we can get a good Patreon service going where we can just kind of get that monthly payment going in that I can afford this stuff, uh, I think it'll, it, it's possible. and We can make some really good stuff and, some really, and really uh, help a lot of people out. So, yeah, that's my goal. So check that out. Put a link down below. For now, though, thanks for watching. Please subscribe as well, and uh, follow me on all these social media platforms. And as always, stay safe out there.